What's up you guys, Creations here. I hope you're having a lovely day. I hope you're feeling good. I hope you're looking good. I hope everything is great. Today we're doing some more Am I the Asshole? Because we love it, you know. If you don't know me, you don't know who I am. My name is Creations. I do a lot of Am I the Assholes and read a lot of just random subreddits sometimes. If you'd like to follow me on any of my social media, it's gonna be Creations underscore reacts on Instagram and JOKV underscore Creations on TikTok, Twitch, and Twitter. Now let's go ahead and get into some of these Am I the Asshole? Because you just might be. Am I the Asshole for telling my mom and aunt that they are not welcome at my wedding? It says not the asshole, but I'm very curious. We need a little bit of backstory. You know, we the judges over here, okay? All right, I really need to know whether I've turned into Brightzilla if hormones are causing me to be overly sensitive or if I'm just an asshole. I mean, you know, I feel like you could be all at once, you know, just maybe, you know, you never know. So my fiance, 23 male, and I, 22 female, are getting married in a few weeks. We've been together since high school, and last year he proposed to me. Since then, we've been t uh, taking our time planning our wedding and managed to book a pretty popular venue that we are both really excited for. My best friend since middle school, Abby, 22 female, has designed and made a custom wedding dress for me, which looks absolutely stunning and I couldn't be happier with it. Now, a few months ago, I discovered I was pregnant. It came as a surprise, but we're both really happy about it. With the wedding already having been planned, however, I'll definitely be showing quite a bit during my wedding. Abby has been working on modifying the dress so I'd still be able to wear it. She's the best, honestly. Okay, okay, all right, all right. Everything seems like it's pretty decent so far. We love it, we love it. But we're getting into the middle of the story, so uh, things are about to go south. Last week, I had a fitting for the dress and my mom and aunt accompanied me. After I put on the dress, I was so happy because it looked amazing. It doesn't try to hide my pregnancy belly, but it made everything look so elegant. My mom and aunt started laughing though, saying I look ridiculous and that it'd be better to postpone the wedding until after I give birth. Um, mm, 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 mm hmm kiss ass, all right. Beside the fact that postponing the wedding means we'll have to wait at least another year because the venue is so popular and pretty much always booked, I looked, I thought I looked beautiful. So their comments really hurt me. It really hurt Abby as well as she'd been working so hard on the dress. I told my mom and aunt that they're being incredibly rude and that they're not welcome at my wedding unless they apologize. Okay, so she did not write to say you couldn't come to the wedding. You gotta apologize first before you come. Okay, all right, let's see. But they responded by saying I'm overreacting and that I need to learn to take a joke. They're just trying to make sure I have the perfect wedding that I won't regret later and that my pregnancy hormones are making me make bad decisions. I sent them away and at that point to finish the fitting without them. But now I'm really doubting myself whether I really was overreacting. Am I the asshole? Okay, so I don't think you're the asshole. Like whenever, I don't know. Yes, you're pregnant. Yes, you know, the wedding's coming up. So that's a lot of stress. This, that, and the third. But it seemed like you kind of got a good, decent amount of things kind of planned out. So I guess it's not too stressful enough. You know, it's, it's not too stressful. Um, do I think uninviting them was that big of a deal in regards to I guess them making a joke or something I guess a little bit but at the end of the day you know it's your wedding if you don't want to have them there because of that you know it's it is what it is but it seems like you gave them the chance to apologize you know you told them you know you're not welcome to the wedding unless you apologize See, I don't know I just say apologize and then go to the wedding but if she's very hung on this you know, I don't know. You might not be able to go to the wedding, mom and aunt. You might not be able to go to the wedding. Like, I know for, I can at least try, again, y'all, this is just my opinion. 
I can kind of see on one hand where it's like, oh, you're probably just overreacting just a little bit. You know, it was just a joke. They weren't really that serious. You know, they want to make sure you have the perfect wedding. But obviously, you know, that, that could have been a side conversation for something else. I don't know. It, it, I don't know. I don't see it as too much of a big deal. However, if the bride seems it, you know, sees it as a big deal, then I would take it very seriously. You know, even if it's just the hormones or whatever, take it very seriously. You know, if she doesn't like that and she wants you to apologize, guess what? Apologize. Because, again, I feel like people really be thinking people be joking whenever they say, you know, do this or you just can't come or you can't do that or whatever, yada, yada. Or, you know, when they say something and you think it's a joke, people need to stop doing I mean, I know some people can never not always tell. Shoot, I can sometimes not tell. Um... Well, no, I'm not going to say I can't tell, actually. I can't say that. But, I don't know. <laughs> you at least have an idea if a person's being serious or not. Or if they're joking. Honestly, even if they're joking, if you don't know them that well, or if, even if you do, and you think they're joking, I would say maybe take it a little bit serious, just in case. Because what if they are serious? You know, what if they are serious? Then it's like, mm, you might be looking dumb. So, I'm not going to lie, I think I just went on a tangent and I think I even lost what I was trying to say. I'm sorry, y'all. Uh, I don't think she's the asshole. I think they just need to apologize and keep shit pushing. Um, I'm very curious about the comments, though. And comments, pause to read if y'all like to read. Um, but uh, I'm not going to read all that, so we're going to continue on. Next, am I the asshole for banning my sisters from my wedding? Well, that's plural. So, there's... At least one or two. There's at least two or and above at that point. It says not the asshole, but I'm very curious. I'm getting married this November and it's caused a lot of drama. Why? I'm the youngest of two sisters, Rita and Murray. Murray? Murray? Murray. And they've hated each other for years. Murray was married to Rick, but they got divorced because he began an affair with Rita. They even got married. What? This kind of ruined the family because whenever there was an event, a fight would always break out. Oh. So there was some consistency in regards to them being in the same room and fights breaking out. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> I want my wedding to be nice, classy, and peaceful. My fiance and I spent a good amount of money. Oh yes, when money's involved, you better be classy. Your ass will get tossed out within seconds. Especially if you're spending your own dime. I'm sorry. Nope. I don't want my sisters fighting or throwing food drinks like they usually do. Girl, the fact that you have to say usually, that already says something. That already speaks volumes. So I banned them and Rick. I don't even like him from my wedding. Mari and Rita swore to me they would behave, but they've said that before. Oh, jeez. They always promise nothing will happen, and then they start fighting. My venue is expensive. Mm hmm And if they damage something, it's coming out of our pockets. Now they're accusing me of being a bridezilla and not giving them a chance. Am I the asshole? I'm gonna agree with Reddit, not the asshole, because I'm sorry, if it's... If this has happened several times, at least enough to where you have to say, you know, like they usually do, or uh, there was an event, you know, always breaks out into a fight or something. If it's that consistent, yeah, it's it's a chop for me. I'm sorry. No, because that's like taking a chance. That's like taking a 50-50 chance. Like, you know what? Let's do this wedding. If they, and, and if you invite them, it's like a 50-50 chance they might fight. Or if it's usual thing. It's like mm, probably more of a 70-30. And I'm sorry, those aren't the best odds. I'd like to have damn near close to 100% chance there's not going to be a fight. Preferably. Now, was that always the case? No. No, not always. But in most cases, I'd probably give, I'm just, whenever I give you the percentages, y'all, these are just coming out my dome. These are not facts, okay? These are just my own little opinion. Um... I'd say, you know, in regards to fights and weddings, I, maybe because I haven't seen many of them. Um, I don't know, maybe like a good 
30 to 70, 30% there is usually a fight maybe, but 70 is like not really ever a fight. But like, I don't know, if you have, like, if you kind of have an idea that they're going to fight, throw drinks, this, that, and the third, and this is an expensive venue, I'm sorry, when it comes out of your own pocket, you're going to try your best to prevent things from even happening. So if you know they're usually the kind to really start something, to really do something, to really throw food, this, that, and the third, yeah, you might want to take the chance of not inviting them. I'm sorry. So it's like, do I think she's an asshole? No. You know, I know for some people it's like, but they're family, you know, you should invite them. You know, they said they're not going to do it. You should give them a chance. I'm sorry. At any other events and they're actually doing this? No, no, because this is an important event. It ain't no basic event. This is an important event. So any other events, they're doing this, but they're going to pop. You know, that's like really trying your luck at that point. Hell no. If you do. And they even so much as even cause even the smidget of scene. Toss they ass out. Toss they ass out. If they if one drink goes flying, security out. That's just if she does, but it says not the asshole, and I agree. Not the asshole. It's it's too much of a consistency in regards to that. Next. Am I the asshole for calling my sister-in-law to be a bridezilla to her face? I respect that it's to her face, honestly. Because, you know, some people don't have the guts to do that. All right, let's see. It says, throw away account because sister-in-law knows my Reddit and I fear for my life if she knows I'm posting about her. LOL. Uh, when you say fear for your life and put LOL at the end of this stuff, I, 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 I hesitate. I'm like, mm. My older brother is getting married in September. His fiance isn't exactly my favorite person. She was three years ahead of me at high school. Uh, I didn't say high school. I said, I said high school. I'm at school. And while I hesitate to call it bullying because it wasn't that serious, she and her friend definitely gave me a rough time throughout school. And needless to say, I've always kind of resented her for it. She's been super stressy about the wedding to an extent that I feel is unnecessary. She'll stomp her feet and pout over the slightest thing from the venue not having the exact right shade of off-white for the seat covers to my brother suggesting a different flavor of cake to the one she picked out. He slept in the guest room for three nights after that. Mmm. Mmm. Over the cake? Mmm. Like I said, to me, it all seems very unnecessary. And OTT, I don't know what that means. Please let me know. But for the sake of, and somebody told me what that means, I'm pretty sure. And I just forgot. I am so sorry, y'all. But for the sake of keeping the peace, I've kept quiet thus far. Two days ago, however, I'd kind of had enough. Our cousin is also getting married in two weeks. And my little sister is being bridesmaid at both. Sister-in-law was already pissed that Cousins' wedding is so close to hers, even though Cousins was booked first. But she absolutely lost it when my sister showed her the bridesmaid's dress for Cousins' wedding. You see, they're blue and Sister-in-law wanted her bridesmaids to wear blue. She went off on the huge rant about how Cousin is trying to upstage her and stealing all of her ideas. Mind you, Cousin's bridesmaids' dresses are a super deep royal blue, and the one sister-in-law was considering are a very pale baby blue, as well as a being a completely different style. Maybe just being a fashion ignorant man, but I really don't see why they can't both have bridesmaids in blue, especially when the dresses are so different. Okay, so this is a guy. I'm making the assumption off the context clues. I could be wrong. Anyway, when sister-in-law stopped ranting and calling our cousin every name under the sun, I kind of rolled my eyes and went and went their just dresses. They're just yeah okay okay this is how, this is what he says. They're just dresses. No need to go bridezilla about it. As you can imagine, she didn't like that. She stormed out of my mom's house in a huff. Harumph. sent me a number of abusive texts, which I would have blocked her at that point. 
I'm sorry, I don't I don't really do a lot of disrespect. So the moment it comes my way, I will block you within within seconds. I'm sorry. I it's like it's like are you willing to take this person cussing at you? Or are you willing to just keep shit pushing? I'm sorry. I'm not willing to do that. I'm not really willing to take any disrespect and none of that shit. I will block you within seconds. And we can just act like nothing ever happened. But when I say that, I mean like I will just, you would not exist to me. Until you apologize. He pissed. Oh, my bad. I'm sorry, y'all. Where we go? Huff. Harumph. Uh, ranting about me to my brother and trying to convince him to drop me as a groomsman ever since. He's pissed too because now he's getting an earful of, earful because of me. There we go. My sister says, I could have said it better. I mean, you could have. However, I'm sorry. When she is being a bright seller, you got to call it out on this bullshit. It is what it is. I'm sorry. Not, not really. I'm sorry. No, no, I keep saying that. <laughs> this is the automatic thing from y'all. And my mom keeps telling me that I'm being insensitive and that planning a wedding is super stressful. That doesn't mean you got to be a... Mm, mm, when you got to catch yourself. That doesn't mean you have to be rude. You can have a very stressful moment and just, I don't know, take a couple breaths, breathe, and just let a person know I'm stressing right now. Please get away from me. Please do not talk to me. Like, you can let somebody know in a dis in a less disrespectful way, even if it's in the heat of the moment. And I don't know, if it's something like that, which it seems like from what we gathered so far, I'm almost on y'all, I'm sorry. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. He was being straightforward. It might have come off as an asshole, but I don't know. For me, I, I don't know. So I should be more concerned. I honestly don't see what I did wrong. I don't see either, honestly. But to be fair, I could be an asshole. But maybe you lot as an objective third party can give me some sight, some insight. Says so not the asshole. And I agree, not the asshole. I'm just gonna just, love, just, just, just skim. We just gonna skim a little, just a smidge. Not the asshole. She is being a bridezilla and enabling her isn't going to help. It really isn't. She needs to be considerate of those around her. And your brother needs to think about if he wants to marry someone who behaves like this in a stressful situation. I mean, that's also something to think about. Like, yeah, like, I, I don't know. It's just... <sighs> Y'all let me know. I don't think he was an asshole. I think he was just being very straight up. Yeah, it might have came off as an asshole move, but I'm sorry. If you're being an asshole in the process, if a person talks to you as if you're being an asshole, it, I don't know. I feel like that kind of kind of matches the energy. You know what I'm saying? Match that energy with the energy that you're giving. That's, that's all I'm going to say. Not to say that she was giving energy towards him, but like if you're giving straight up like outwards, like asshole energy... Be willing to take it, is all I'm going to say. Uh, pause to read if y'all want to read the rest of that. I don't feel like doing that. Um, is that a third? I think that was the third one. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Those are pretty interesting. I don't think the the last one wasn't the asshole. I think he just said what it, what it needed to be said. He was It was what it was. Uh, previous one in regards to the sisters and the fighting thing, uh, I don't think they were the asshole because... Um, I wouldn't invite them to if I already have an idea that they're going to be fighting and throwing drinks possibly. I'm sorry, if there's a possibility, I don't play that shit. No, especially if it's my money that's getting put into the wedding. No, we're, we're having less chance of that. So not the asshole in that one either. And then the first one, it says not the asshole. And I'm trying to remember from my Aunt and mom. Uh, that one, I can see where some might think a little bit of the asshole because it could have been really just taken as a joke. And they might not have been too, too serious about it. But obviously, maybe, you know, she's pregnant, hormones, and then the wedding. So I, I can kind of see a mixture of that kind of coming together. And that might be why she took it very seriously. So, you know, uh, that's why, I like, the first one, may, I say not the asshole, which I still stand by it. But I might put in a smidge of asshole. Cause I can kind of see where some other people might be coming from. But not the asshole overall. So there's that. Um, thank y'all for being here. I freaking love every last one of you guys. Y'all, I might be working in a, in a minute or so. So, like a regular job. I know. I know. So, my schedule might be a little bit different. Um, I will definitely let y'all know in the community tab. Uh, if anything changes, this at a third. 
but so far everything's gonna be the same we're just gonna see about that we're gonna see about that um thank y'all so much for the support i love every last one of you guys deuces pieces reese's pieces bye <laughs>